Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to make it in today. Uh, so, uh, it was a pleasure to speak with you on the phone, and I did make a list of everything that you were interested in finding, or hopefully finding, at this particular sale. I know it is, um, sort of an estate sale season at the moment, so whatever you don't find here today, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of luck, particularly in this neighborhood. Um, there's lots of amazing properties on the cul-de-sac here, so I'm sure you will find exactly what you're looking for. Um, of course, I do hope you find some pieces that you really enjoy and that speak to you today at this sale. Um, I did jot down the types of things that you're interested in, hopefully taking home with you today, and I have set aside some pieces as well that I think you're really going to like, and today I'm just going to be taking you through them to see if you'd like to purchase any. They all are at a discount price, and I'm open to negotiating those prices as well. So, you're in very good hands when it comes to price points. I want to make sure that you pay the best price for anything that you take home with you today. Um, many of the pieces I'm going to show you are quite valuable and are antique as you requested. Um, so we'll just figure it out as we go along. Um, so I know you said you were really interested in dishware, specifically um, tea sets. Is that still true? Specifically, we're looking for antique dishware and tea sets, hopefully with some beautiful floral patterns, and there is a copious amount, honestly, of that here at this property. So we definitely have that for you. And I have set aside some pieces, as I said. Um, okay, and then you wanted to see what jewelry was here, which I certainly don't blame you. Um, there are some pieces that I think are very lovely, however, uh, you will probably need to take them to a jeweler. Um, as some of them are a bit damaged and need a little bit of work, but would you still like to see them? Okay, yeah, of course. I'm happy to still show you. Oftentimes, it's pieces that need a little bit of work that are the most beautiful and valuable. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I know you said you wanted to see some records, and I've set aside a few. There's a larger collection in the attic. I can always take you up after we're done here. You're still interested in seeing those? Okay. Great. Um, and then I did also set aside some decorative dishware for you. I know that you were maybe looking for a few eclectic items just to spruce up your home a bit. You still interested? Great. Okay. Alright, so the decorative pieces. Um, I'll definitely start with those if you don't mind. Okay, I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay. So for decorative dishware, I have this really incredible set that I was saving just for you. Um if you're not interested, I'll of course show it to the next customer that is into this sort of design. However, I wanted to save it for you because I know you had mentioned that you're particularly fond of this type of work. So this is a little container here that you can use for jewelry or something of that nature. And then it comes with this beautifully uh, detailed tray. Um, the tray has this really beautiful shape to it. And is this lovely pale blue color. Um, lots of gold detailing. And then it depicts um, this scene of, I believe, some type of angel with um, the mother as well here. If you want to give that a feel here, you can feel the texture on there. Yeah. It's pretty lightweight. Um, it is ceramic. 
and it is essentially a tray because there's these little holders here. You can use this, um, you know, as dishware at any event that you may host. However, um, I think this personally, if I were to use it, would be best suited on a vanity um, or a dresser to house jewelry or anything of that nature. You could put some perfumes on the tray. Um, and in the little dish here that comes with it, the same scene is depicted on the lid of the dish. Quite beautiful. These are also raised, so there's some texture there of the flowers. It's quite lovely. And then the dish is just a humble size, but it could be put to use um, holding, you know, anything that you might keep in your bedroom, like rings or earrings or know anything that you might think of it's a really nice piece and this obviously will fit perfectly on top yeah so I thought you might like this of course you don't have to decide now but it's a beautiful antique piece that this family owned for many years and they decided to pass it on The next thing I wanted to show you is this little basket-shaped dish. It's very um, appealing in my opinion with the sort of juxtaposition of this really shiny gold and then the blue, this deep blue. And there are depictions, I believe, of gods, Greek gods on the inside. I'm not entirely sure a bit dusty. I'll make sure to clean everything that you do decide to take home. I've just been going through so many hundreds of pieces in the home that I haven't necessarily had the bandwidth to polish all of the pieces here. But this one is also quite beautiful. It's a glass piece on the bottom and it's a bit translucent but if I were uh, to take this home with me, I'd probably use it as a candy dish or something along that nature. Uh, you could also use it to hold potpourri and put it in a bathroom, but it's quite beautiful. I'm happy to polish it for you, as I said, and it's just a stunning, just very unique piece. You like this one? I'm glad to hear it. Sometimes in my work, uh, helping people uh, liquidate the assets in their homes, I wonder why people want to get rid of certain things, but oftentimes it's just because they have so many things, truly. This family let me know that they um, have, you know, an abundance of things like um, these items and they just don't have room for everything. They're planning to sell this home in a couple of weeks, so once I get everything out of it, um, that will occur. Okay. The next thing is this very stunning decanter. So, if you don't know, this type of piece is frequently used to descale or aerate liqueur or wine. So these days it might not be the most functional piece, um, but would just be an amazing uh, decoration to keep 
in a living room or parlor or kitchen area. But this is just a stunning glass piece with gold detailing and floral design similar to the other pieces. And um, has these extremely stunning raised details of white flowers on the top, on the front, here. So, it's a very beautiful piece. This is my last one of something of this nature at this property. I do have other pieces like this at some of the other properties that I'm currently working on. This has to be one of my favorites, and I have been saving it for the right customer because it's just so beautiful. Yeah, if nothing else, um, pieces like this are just such a stunning decoration to keep in the kitchen, the dining room. Um, if you're a collector of china, then this would be a wonderful addition to any china that you might keep in a case for preservation. Just beautiful. you think on this one. Um, in terms of some more functional dishware that you might be able to make use of in your home, I do have this tea set here um, that comes with a cream or milk um, bowl here and then a sugar bowl which is right here. And then it does also come with two gold spoons. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I don't believe these are real gold, but they are silver for sure, and then a painted gold. So they're quite beautiful, and they match the set. Um, very lovely, and one, you know, you can switch them out. There's a set of two in case something happens to the other one. And. Uh, these are just a really nice off-white cream color, and they have the gold uh, rim, the gold piping. The lid is quite beautiful. It's very dainty, but these are a bit bigger, so they're more, you know, they're a bit on the larger side compared to some of the other dishes of this nature that I've been custom to see Quite lovely. You want to think on that one? Yeah, of course. No pressure at all. These types of things, this type of dishware, is really nice to use um, if you're having people over for a breakfast or a brunch. These are larger, so um, they might be suitable for a party of up to five or more. Quite a nice set. And I just think the spoons are so cute, and they are very detailed the way that they're shaped here. Quite nice. In terms of some other decorative pieces, there is this little dainty marble box that I wanted to show you that I found on one of the vanities in the home. The only problem with the box is that it is going to need a little bit of TLC. As you can see, the little knob on the top um, has fallen off. But I'm happy to glue that for you if you'd like. Or you can glue it yourself. 
I tend to leave things as they are before fixing them as normally people who shop estate sales or secondhand sales of any nature are quite crafty and tend to enjoy fixing things themselves. But this marble box I find to be just so darling. And I can take the lid off. It's a rectangular container. And it's just very beautiful with the marble. Yeah, the color of it is quite unique. I love it. I was thinking of taking this home myself, but if you're interested, I'm more than happy to sell it to you. And then the marble is carved in a way that's very intricate on the lid. <laughs> this poor little guy <sighs> fell off. happened during their move or something like that. But certainly can be fixed and there's no reason to dispose of this box. It definitely can be revitalized and used for many years to come. see some of the tea sets? Sure. Okay. So I do have this um, very sweet little set here. This is all of the set that I was able to find. A lot of the pieces when I arrived at the property were very strewn about and it is a very large property so uh, some of the sets are not complete but many antique collectors and collectors of eclectic items don't mind that sort of thing, but I really found this to be a unique teacup as the shape is a bit obscure. But it's quite beautiful. It's that light blue color, very similar to the tray in the dish that I showed you a few moments ago. It has one, two, three, four little designs. It's quite a sweet piece. Could also be decorative, but it's quite beautiful. And I will tell you, definitely don't put anything that uh, you see here today in the dishwasher or the microwave. I'm sure you already know that, but I just like to be safe and tell everyone who comes in. So, it's really quite nice. I have this other set here. So, I only have one dish of this set, but I do have two cups that could be changed out. The dish is, is quite beautiful, and a smaller dish that could even be used without the cups, um, just to, you know, eat um, a smaller snack, some biscuits, or, you know, a tea sandwich or something like that. I love the blue details on this with the floral print in the middle and it's um, spotted around the perimeter here and then it has the gold on the outside. This little cup is quite lovely. Both the 
cups have a floral design on each side of the cup. There's dual floral designs um, with many different colors, you know, pink, purple, blue, yellow, green. The inside is quite similar. This one has that blue perimeter, whereas this one is more similarly uh, printed to the plate here. So, it's really quite nice. It's one of my favorite sets that I've seen at this property. I'll make sure I put this one aside for you so you can take it home. Yeah. Sounds good. And then, um, I did want to show you another one just in case you're interested. So, um, this set, I actually have uh, three more, which is exciting. So, there is three more plates, three more teacups. So you could host something with yourself and three other people, host a tea gathering or a light lunch. Um, the thing that I love about this set in particular, firstly, is the simplicity. It's just um, a white color with gold detailing. And then the gold detail here, that is shaped like a bit like a leaf. And the gold rim down here. And then the plate. plate um, is designed so that you can host the teacup here. You can actually place the teacup right there. It fits there really nicely. And then on this side, you could probably put um, some fruit or um, an hors d'oeuvre or something like that, some cookies or some cakes to enjoy with the tea. So, mm, it's nice and compact. And I just think it's really nice. Uh, it's like very satisfying to see that the teacup fits so nicely on the dish. It almost seems more proper that way for whatever reason. So I find this really nice. Um, mm -hmm, yeah, I'll put this one aside for you too. It's a really great set and um, we'll make sure to get you the rest of it and package it up for you to take home. The three other sets. Yeah. Unless you just want one. You'd like to take all of them. Okay. Yeah. I think that's quite smart. For other little eclectic items that you might be interested in, um, I did happen to find in some of the storage boxes, these really adorable miniature picture frames. Um, these are, I believe, just made out of steel. And this one I love so much with the oval shape. And then they each have a kickstand that can be used to prop up the photograph. This would be really good for baby pictures or pet pictures to keep on a bookshelf or a desk at work or something like that. It's quite nice. I don't know. I think they're quite adorable. And then this one does have a backing, but it's made out of cardboard that's been placed in there. I doubt that was the original design, but someone's put that in there at some point in the item's life. And then there is a little plastic piece here. Um, versus this one, does not have anything like that, which some people might mind. You'd need to, you know, fashion one yourself. But I think they're quite sweet probably at some point uh, used to host photographs of the family. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll let 
what you think about that. sweet. Sort of in the same vein, I wanted to show you some of the jewelry really quickly. There isn't a lot, but I did set a few things aside for you that I thought you might really like. The first of them being, I have a couple of cameos here. So this is the first one. This is a golden cameo with a white um, center. And it does have, um, you could put a chain through this part on the top. So if that's ready to go in that regard, you could also wear it as a brooch as it has a pin on the back. It's quite beautiful. Yeah, I can hand these to you so you can course. So you can take a look. This is the second one. This one's a bit um, daintier. It doesn't have a, uh, anything, it doesn't have a pin on the back, so this would be just a necklace. This is a silver one instead of gold. With a more of a humble looking lady on the front. I can show you. Here you go. Yeah. So, you can look at those, they're very, very interesting looking um, and just like a classic sort of Italian vibe to them. I love them. I have a few cameos myself that I like to wear. I also found this brooch that you might need to clean up a bit, but the pin is still intact on the back and it is a leaf, just a floral design. This golden pin, it has some gems encrusted on it. There's even some pearls within one of the leaves, but I'll let you look up close, of course. Um, there's a gem right there. It's very dainty, but this is the type of brooch that you might wear just with a white button-up, just very classic. And it can just make a outfit look a bit more put together and a bit more upscale. Mm -hmm. So I can let you see that one too. Um, I also have something that is a bit pricier, but the family also didn't want to keep this. I asked. This is actually a wedding band. Um, a diamond wedding band. And this is something that's going to take a little bit of work from a jeweler. The um, back of it is broken, so you'd need someone to install a new backing. I don't know if you've seen this before, this is the type of backing that's common for people whose knuckles are um, larger than the rest of their finger. Um, just helps it, you know, sit on the finger a little easier. But um, this ring is totally beautiful. Just a really stunning piece of jewelry and it is a wedding band so I don't know how you feel about that but um, it is real and just a really beautiful piece made of silver and diamonds in the center that go along dotted across the across the ring a really simple and beautiful wedding band, but you could also just wear it on the pointer finger, the index finger, the middle finger. Um, it's just a really lovely piece. You can hand this one to you too. And then the last piece of jewelry I have, I think, is very unique. This is a watch. And I will explain why the face is missing at the moment. It's just something you'd have to get amended by a jeweler, as I said. But the band of the watch uh, is solid gold and very flexible. The base of the watch is surrounded by diamonds. And the 
that's very dainty. This would have to be on a wrist that's very small. Um, the clasp is, you know, an antique clasp, so it's helpful if you have someone do it for you. Uh, someone clasp it for you. But, see it's very small. But it's a totally stunning watch. And um, I have here, actually in this little bag, the original face of the watch. This is the original face. I was looking at it and for a second I thought I saw the second hand moving and I was like, how is that possible? But no, nope, it's not. So that's the original face of the watch, which is solid gold and has diamonds, tiny little diamonds as the numbers. Yeah, tiny little diamonds make up the numbers and then this is just the back of the face and then um, this is the tiny little battery that it once came with um, so all of the original pieces of this piece of jewelry are you know together which is really rare it's just that it fell apart from old age and needs to be restored but it's a very very beautiful piece of antique jewelry and I wanted to save it for you to see if you might want to take it home. Do you have a jeweler that you work with? Right. Well, if you're in the market for a new one, I can certainly recommend one to you and uh, write it down. Um, I know a local, a local guy that would be really helpful to piece this back together, get it in tip-top shape. You're interested? Okay, great. So I'm just gonna make sure I get all of these back in here. Right. I'll make sure to set this one aside for you, okay? I'll make sure you take this one home. Yeah, and I can take these ones back. Oh, you wanna take these too? Then I'll add these to the little baggie then for you. So beautiful. I'm glad they're going to be in good hands because they're just such nice dainty pieces and finding nice jewelry these days can be really hard to hard to do. I think these will look really nice on you. And um, I did also want to show you, I know you mentioned you have a couple of children. And I did find these really darling wooden horses. It's a wooden horse set um, in one of the rooms and this is obviously supposed to be the baby horse and these are carved from wood and are made, you know, with items that are natural and come from the earth, which is really rare to find in children's toys these days that are often made from plastic, which there's nothing wrong with that, it's just, um, it's a bit dusty here, but the tail is made from like a rope and then um, I believe these details were painted on many moons ago so they're a bit faded here and then here's the adult mother horse in the set but I just thought these were so um, just such a rare find 
as you can see, a long time ago, someone <laughs> stuck Sesame Street stickers to the toy. Um, this is Cookie Monster, <laughs> and this is Big Bird. However, you could remove those or just leave them, but I don't think it damaged the piece at all. But just really sweet children's toys that... your child might like to play with, I don't know. But this is a set that I definitely um, intend to keep together. It just feels wrong to separate them. I'll set these to the side for you too. They're very sweet. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything that I promised that I was going to show you. Oh, yeah, okay, that's right. The records you wanted to see, and then I also had. I don't know if you're interested, but I have a camera here that I found that I've been trying to sell that hasn't sold yet. So I just want to show that to you really quickly. If you're interested, this is an antique Polaroid camera. strap is still intact here. I don't know if you're into photography, but um, I myself have a Polaroid camera and I find that the simplicity of being able to get that snapshot and then instantly print it out is just so nice to have around the house if you're hosting a dinner party or something, or there's some type of moment um, that you want to capture, like a sentimental moment, and then you can instantly just have it printed out. It's really nice. Kind of like a lost art in society these days. But it is the Polaroid brand. This is the slot that the picture will dispense from here. I don't know if you've ever used a camera like this, but I've just been showing it to people because I find it to be really cool, really neat. And um, this is how you take the picture. You press this button here. And I find it funny that, you know, it was so common for people to use a camera strap at one point in time. You can imagine having one of these for your iPhone. <laughs> yeah, okay. No pressure at all, but if you do want to think on it, I think this would be really cool. I don't have any film for it, however, you could just order some. Yeah, I can actually hand it over to you if you want to take a look. For sure, there you go. And now for the records, okay, so we have... These are pretty old, so, and they've been kept upright in excellent condition. So this is Janis Joplin's Greatest Hits. Side one has Peace of My Heart, Summertime, Try Just a Little Bit Harder, Cry Baby, 
me and Bobby McGee. And then side two has down on me. Get it while you can. Bye bye baby. Move over. And ball and chain. So that is ten tracks on this. My favorite song of Janis Joplin's is definitely Get It While You Can. I love that song. So I don't know if you're a fan of hers, but it's a nice find. This is a Queen record. The Game. I love the cover art on these. You have a record player? Okay, I was gonna say. I know some people just like to buy records, but it is nice when you can actually listen to them and play them. I love to play my records, the collection that I have when I have people over. Or just like on a weekend. It's really nice. Okay, so side one has Play the game, dragon attack, another one bites the dust, need your loving tonight, crazy little thing called love, side two has rocket, don't try suicide, sail away sweet sister, coming soon, and save me. So some iconic tracks from Queen. On this one and I can definitely package any that you want to take um, sort of on the side of the back so they can stay upright and not get damaged in any way as these have all really been kept in excellent condition over the years this one's a little more beat up just the packaging, but we've got the Hotel California. But the actual record inside is totally fine. I love the ones that fold open like this, it's so neat. Nineteen seventy six. Photograph inside is really cool. Next one is Tears for Fears, songs from The Big Chair. Uh, yeah, of course I can let you know, so it has Shout, The Working Hour, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, I love that song, Mother's Talk, I Believe, broken, and head over heels. And listen. I also love head over heels. Yeah. You want all of them? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to be selling these for about two bucks each, so I can definitely make sure we hand these over to you. I always like to make sure that whoever I'm, you know, handing the records over to when I sell pieces that need to be taken care of properly, that a person knows how to take care of them. But I know you have experience, so I don't need to go over too much. Yeah. Just make sure to keep them upright and, you know, don't wear them out too much. And then I wanted to make 
make sure to uh, I have a list of some of the items here and I'm just wanting to check off which ones that you do want to take home so I can keep my inventory going I have sort of a method to my madness <laughs> okay so the decanter and the tea sets Okay. Okay. Great. And then did you still want the name of that jeweler for the jewelry pieces? It's raining outside, but um, if you have any interest, I'm happy to show you some of the lawn and patio furniture that the family is looking to be rid of. Are you interested? Okay, great. I do have um, a couple of umbrellas that we can use, so, and there's plenty of extra coats and things like that around if you get cold. Uh, I'm glad that we've been able to. Uh, get you some new things today that you're really going to like. I know the family would be really happy that they're going to be uh, trusted in your hands. Yeah. And then I'll make sure everything is packaged up nicely for you and um, who knows, maybe um, I'll see you the next time that um, I take care of an estate sale. I do have repeat clients who sort of Follow me from property to property. Okay. Great. Alright. Yeah. We can go ahead and go outside.